Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I have some videos to show you from last week. I got these on Saturday before Hurricane Ian hit Florida and the ocean waters were already rough and were bringing in all sorts of things onto the beach. And one of those things was this like 20 foot long bamboo log covered in goose barnacles. And I believe these are Lepus and Seraphera. Now, usually when barnacles wash on the shore, they're able to cover themselves and keep water inside their shells by sealing their shells. But these ones, for some reason, had their shells open and were moving their feathery leg-like appendages called surai out of their shells. They're used to capture food so then they can eat. And they mainly feed on plankton and uh, detritus, which is dissolved organic material. So the way they connect themselves onto surfaces is with their head. So this is their head actually, and they are able to cement themselves onto surfaces, floating surfaces like logs, and even living surfaces like whales. So you can see the surai um, as they move this feathery looking thing out of their shell. So I was concerned about these barnacles because anytime I've seen them on the beach like this, they end up drying out and dying. So I decided to bring them out into the water and the waves brought them into these rocks. And I'm hoping that they'll be able to stay in the water by uh, being behind those rocks and then eventually they'll be taken back out into the ocean. Goose barnacles can live for more than 20 years and they can start breeding at five years old so I'm hoping that these guys will be able to live. So here's two other things I found washed ashore. This one here is a sea heart and this is a sea hamburger and these are sea beans also known as drift seeds. And they come from fruit trees that have a method of seed dispersal where the seed will travel thousands of miles in the ocean until it finds a beach to grow on. There are all sorts of types of drift seeds and sea beans. Um, I found a few of these pictures of examples on seabean.com. I thought that it was pretty cool. But it makes sense that I found sea beans now because they usually come in from hurricanes and tropical storms. Here's a picture of one of the plants that the sea beans can come from. This is where the, the hamburger sea beans come from. Um, it's pretty interesting. But anyways, that's all I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you're affected by the hurricane, you're doing okay and no one was hurt. But yeah, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.